All right, so we're back with the only game where you can throw a pyramid at the Earth at the speed of light. It's Universe Sandbox 2. That's that's literally something that you can do in this game. Matter of fact, we're gonna do all kinds of stuff with light speed. I don't know why that planet decided to leave the orbit, but that's cool. I think it's because I hit it with an asteroid at some point. I don't really remember. I've been torturing solar systems for a while now. A lot of people had said, Gray, why don't you throw stuff at planet Earth? Well, I will, but a lot of stuff won't make a damn bit of difference. So we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna get stuff going light speed and probably like a hundred times the speed of light and then we'll see what kind of difference it makes. See this sun? What happens if you throw a planet at it at a hundred times the speed of light? I don't know, let's find out. No one likes Pluto. 10 times the speed of light, not good enough. 100 times the speed of light. I feel like we have to slow this down in order to see it because 100 times the speed of light is pretty freaking fast. Right about there should do it. Alrighty. Did Pluto just disappear? Is 100 times the speed of light so fast that like even milliseconds can't register it? Probably. Yeah. Did you see that? It just disappeared completely. It's possible that this burning Earth got in the way. I'm not really sure. Hold on. Hey, Molten Earth, real quick. If I hit you with the Pluto going 100 times the speed of light, are you sad? Oh no, it doesn't appear to be sad at all. As a matter of fact, Pluto seems to be working out just fine. What happens if we speed up time? There we go. Now it's moving. Okay, that's probably pretty bad when the explosion doesn't even register at first because of how fast things are going. Oh, we pushed the Earth into the sun. Fair enough. One sun hitting another sun at a hundred times the speed of light. Oh, I missed! I missed a sun with another sun. Let's try that again. Did that sun just liquefy itself through the other sun? It looked like it liquefied itself through the... All right, hold on. Whenever... Gray has a problem hitting two things together. He just gets closer. How about now? Yes, the sun is passing through the other sun. I imagine maybe just being a gaseous thing is causing this instance to happen. I'd like to point something out. I don't know exactly what this is. I'd probably have to look it up on Google. I had no idea it was this freaking big. All right, this solar system is weird. Over to the regular solar system, damn it. Welcome everyone to the average solar system where all the occupants cry out in rage as Gray clicks on the earth. All right, so someone had said like a bowling ball. I really don't think that a bowling ball is going to do anything to the earth. Even if I throw it at the earth at like the speed of light, I feel like in real life it would do something, but I don't know if the game will be able to register it. All right, now for this, we're gonna have to take out my homeland of Florida as we often do, bowling ball. All right, Hurricane Gray coming at you right now. There goes the bowling ball. There's our bowling ball. Speed of light. I'm pretty sure absolutely nothing just happened. I don't even think the earth cares. I could speed, I could speed time up, but unless I see a giant explosion come through here, yeah, it didn't care. I'm sorry, I'm a failure. Apparently that was not the appropriate level of light speed. Let's try this again. All right, Gray destroys the Northern Hemisphere. Take two. That's it. This is all that happened. I don't know if maybe there'd be like a ripple effect or something like that, but um, as far as the game's concerned, it's just a little bit of fireworks and everyone goes to sleep. None the worse. We need something bigger. The arrival spacecraft? 380 meters. The Great Pyramid of Giza is 162 meters. Who decided how much mass is in the arrival spacecraft? All right, we're going to throw a pyramid at it, but the pyramid's only going to be moving at one times the speed of light. That right there is a pyramid, boys. A pyramid with a freaking cosmic trail behind it, and it is pissed. Alrighty. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, land sedately on the surface of the Earth. We're gonna do this from the side just to see what level of sadness we get. Earth absorbed it. Absorbed it just fine. All right, Gray's not screwing around anymore. 100 times the speed of light. Oh my God. Okay, I clearly I didn't slow down time fast enough. That hurt pretty bad. What did it do to the Earth? What the hell just happened? Oh my God, the Earth is still one piece. Yeah, the Earth's all right. Normal temperature? Sort of. Oh, uh -huh. never mind. The Earth is suddenly very sad. Oh, actually, it's still 15.1 Celsius. Maybe it just takes a second for all the heat to spread and everyone to immediately die. This is a molten Earth. You can't lie to me. It is not 15.1 degrees Celsius right now. That's the average temperature, so maybe the rest of the Earth is okay. So, Pyramid of Giza going at one times light speed, no big deal. Going at a hundred times light speed, big friggin' deal. You know, you could land on the surface of the Earth, but all that you're gonna see is friggin' lava. Hey, look everyone. It took a little while, but the Earth is now cooled down. Half of it is covered in death, but the other half is sort of livable, I think. All right, the Pyramid. 1,000 times light speed. Go. Actually, I'm gonna wait for a second so we can attack the other side of the Earth because this side of the Earth has already been like wrought with sadness. So we got we gotta have you, you gotta be equal equal lateral 
death dealers. I don't even know if we're going to get to see this, but here we go. 1,000 times light speed. Oh, you do get to see it. Let me, let me zoom in just enough so that we can watch as it goes for Earth. And there's the impact. Sorry for everyone involved. 1,000 times light speed. All right, now it always takes a second. Like, you, you don't think that anything happened at first. You have to let time go forth because remember, at this point, basically time has stopped effectively. Like, not 100. Yep, there it is. Okay, that hit was significantly worse than the other hit to the point where it has expanded past the half Earth way area and will probably engulf the entire planet in a giant spire of flamey powerfulness it may also knock the earth out of orbit the earth's back i'm just gonna throw the arrival spacecraft going at a thousand light speed into earth over and over again and see what happens left a decent dent okay the radius of the earth is going down substantially as we continue to beat this thing oh the earth is beginning to crap all over me. It is very, very pissed off right now. It's losing a lot of radius very, very quickly. The surface gravity is also all jacked up right now. I'm actually pretty impressed. So even like throwing an arrival spacecraft at this thing didn't knock it into the sun. I'm curious what it would take to knock this thing into the sun. All right, I think our problem here is that we're going far too small. We're throwing the moon at the earth. We're going to do it at one light speed. Now, when you're dealing with like pyramids to moons, you can really get to see the difference in size. A moon hitting the earth at light speed is a sad, sad state of affairs. So if you were wondering, uh, the earth's temperature immediately went up to 494 degrees Celsius. And the earth also rolled snake eyes. I'm not sure how this happened. I'm also not sure how that impact didn't destroy the rest of the planet. Maybe it just means that we have to go to 100 times the speed of light. Alrighty, 100 times the speed of light slow things down a little bit pray for rain here you go now this i mean i would oh. <laughs> what the hell did i just do how did the moon pass through the earth i'm throwing a whole bunch of moons at the earth at 100 times that one hit how come all the other ones didn't i'm gonna do one more this is interesting that moon left behind like the fragmentation of the moon getting shucked into the air and in case you're wondering that totally made the earth leave its normal orbit so it is possible it just takes a couple of moons moving at 100 times the speed of light all right so one thing that you can do is add rings to these things i wonder if enough rings will protect the earth from stuff coming at it at the speed of light there we go welcome everyone to a world where the earth is now freaking saturn okay straight up these rings are cool as hell all right so let's throw something small like an at well something bigger than an asteroid we'll throw a crappy moon at the earth here we go this is a good one let's just do normal launch velocity i want to see if this stuff can stop this thing at normal launch velocity getting it to touch the rings is probably the hardest part because it's a little bit more difficult to aim up than you would originally think passing through the rings pretty easily into the earth and the earth is sad i'm throwing moons to the rings i don't think the rings are really made to stop this what happens if you push the earth out of its own rings so now they have nothing to orbit around do they just kind of get slung around or do they eventually get picked up in another orbit this is really cool to watch though i don't know what the answer is but it looks awesome now it's turning into a really oversized heart or perhaps an apple just following the rings here just to see what happens Ooh. Okay, so the rings eventually got picked up and now the sun has rings. Cool, right in between Venus and Mars. This moon over here that I threw is caught into the orbit as well and it gets slingshotted around the sun at a ridiculous rate. I feel kind of bad for the earth. It's like the earth wasn't a good enough boyfriend or whatever and now all the rings left it and came over to the sun. Okay, I'm putting all kinds of rings around the earth. I don't know if any of this is gonna have, what the hell, a cube 3D, a moon swarm. Oh, moon swarm. Hell yeah. Okay, the moon swarm was a bad idea with all the other rings around. Oh my god, everything just went to glorious spiraling hell. I didn't originally plan for this to happen, but now I'm totally glad it happened. Oh, there is moons doing stuff that shouldn't even be possible right now. Okay, let's see if I can do a moon swarm and not have it immediately detonate into a fiery ball of hell. Okay, yeah, they've already started to collide. It's not good, man. Things are things are going to be real bad here. I don't think that the Earth is going to get out of this unscathed. Oh, it just kind of barely skidded across the Earth. A couple of uh, little fragments are beginning to punch the Earth in the face. But for the most part, the Earth is all right, except for this one 
molten spot. You ready to do something where you do it and then you immediately wish you hadn't? This right over here is called the moon sphere. It is a sphere of moons that are now surrounding the earth. If such a thing were to happen at 3 a.m., how long would it take before the earth wasn't habitable anymore? Earth's been gone on now for about six hours. Okay, that's bad. That, that could be an impact that may be life ending. The sphere is really starting to twist though. Hold on, let me uh, move time along a little bit here. And that right there is the initial sweep where all the moons don't want to deal with one another at the prom. Everyone starts bet. You ever seen Carrie? This is basically planetary Carrie right here. She's going buck wild with her friggin' telekinesis bull crap. And the earth is that, that one like counselor that gets stabbed by a flagpole or something. All the fragments are just landing all over the place on the earth, just causing shockwave after shockwave to appear. The earth right now, surface temperature jumping around 82 degrees Celsius as bits and pieces of the like hundred some odd moons just blow into this thing all over the place. Moons are bouncing off. They're ripping apart due to the tidal forces. It's crazy. That was a bad impact. And Earth is now at 250 degrees Celsius. And Earth just turned into a dead, barren wasteland. Didn't take long at all. About eight hours. I'm sorry, 18 hours. All right, I don't think anything good can come of this, but I'm kind of curious to see what happens. What happens if I launch a black hole through the middle of the galaxy, moving at the speed of light? We'll do a tiny black hole because why not? All right, one time the speed of light. All right, so this orb of sadness over here is our black hole. We need to go ahead and uh, speed up time a little bit so it can begin making its galaxy ending trek across. Oh, maybe it's moving so fast that nothing will really happen. Wait, I was wrong. Did the earth disappear? Yep, the earth completely just disappeared. <laughs> nothing bad will happen and the earth disappears. <laughs> Whoops, sorry guys. All right, just traveling through the uh solar system here like it's no big deal shouldn't do too much and i think we're probably going to get away from anything else bad happening it'll probably just shoot out of the distance and that should be it let me just check to see if everything continues to uh, revolve around the sun correctly yeah, everything else looks all right a black hole 10 million sun sure just call me the galactic cleanup agency because that looks really, really bad. All right, so right over here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, forward time just a little bit. Now, this is only one times the speed of light. There we go. All right, Mars is first. Bye, Mars. It just got erased. Mercury's gone. The sun's gone. Venus is gone. Oh, Earth made it. <laughs> I mean, you know, Earth doesn't have a sun anymore, so they're pretty sad. But uh, that was cool, too. Like, all the little fragments and stuff like that, just kind of following the black hole as it went off into the nether realm. But yeah, the uh, the sun unfortunately was one of those one of those individuals that couldn't get out of the way of the speeding car in time. I feel like this would be a lot worse in that same instance if it was like moving a lot less quickly. Right, I don't think anything's gonna last very long. But here we. What the hell just happened? Okay, that's a lot cooler than I had previously anticipated. Oh my god, it is pulling the entire solar system with it in a giant spiral of sadness. I screwed something up. I'm not really sure what it is, but that's pretty sweet looking. It's like a firework. It's like one of them little pinwheel fireworks. You know what I'm talking about? I must have clicked something wrong. Let's try that again, only with a lot less black holes flying off into the nether realm. Here we go. Now that one's moving correctly. And there goes the entire solar system. There's actually a few things that are just escaping outside of the uh, the gravitational pull. I don't think that that would actually happen. Pluto's finally given up the ghost. Boop. Pluto's gone. What happens if you throw a black hole at another black hole at 10 bajillion times the speed of light or whatever? It couldn't even tell you. I have no idea what the hell happened. Our black hole over here is moving across the universe at such a speed that I'm surprised the game knows how to figure out what this speed would be like. Now I'm kind of curious though. What happens if you throw an earth at the earth at like a bajillion, gajillion times the speed of light? I want this pointed to the sun, toward the sun so we can do maximum damage. All right, earth versus earth, that much light speed. We shouldn't even be able to see what happens. Ah. Uh, is that a piece of Earth left? Oh, it is. Where are you at, piece of Earth? That's Mercury. This is interesting. They straight up absorbed into one another. It now has the mass of two Earths, but like all the other temperatures and stuff are exactly the same. Well, the gravity is not the same. Oh, and the speed that it's traveling is not the same. <laughs> all right, so a bowling ball couldn't do crap before, but if we throw it at the Earth 
at like, you know, a bajillion times the speed of light, will it then do some damage? Bowling ball, speed of light, a lot, go. I don't think anything happened. Yeah, nothing is happening. How about this monolith? Nothing. How about the third stage of the Saturn V? Okay, that did something. Five meters or whatever it is caused a lot of sadness. 8.9 meters. How about the arrival spacecraft? So much so it changed the direction that it rotates. On a side note, it also beat the crap out of its orbit. Why don't you go see the sun, Earth? Why don't you go see the sun? No big deal, right? I keep throwing arrival spacecrafts at it, trying to get it into the sun. We're starting to move past Mercury. Yep. Missed the sun, but it was close. All right, well. I think we did some things. It's Universe Sandbox too, so I'm not always sure what, but it looked cool. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.